What's up everybody? It's Adam here with another van video. Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you about my van life experience in Montreal and Quebec City. Now I haven't lived a ton of time in these areas. I've spent a week in each recently so I just wanted to let you know a few things about parking and how great both of those cities are. Uh, so first off I'm gonna be playing like uh, clips while I'm talking so you'll get to see the places I've seen and what I'm talking about. So Montreal, the parking, uh, pretty nasty. Downtown, overnight there's a bunch of residential areas you can find parking spots in. Uh, everything's in French, keep in mind, so it's a lot harder to read what's going on on the streets. And on top of that the rules are kind of weird, so you're gonna have a bit of a time likely trying to figure stuff out. Uh, I couldn't find any good old Walmarts right downtown, so I did on-street parking. I managed to get a ticket, unfortunately. Uh, so, 80 bucks, pretty brutal. I would have rather just driven outside of town instead of a Walmart or whatever, but no. So, anyways, I spent a bunch of time in a parking garage. Uh, it was 20 bucks a day, and I mean, however you, however you want to look at it, it, I think it's pretty cheap. I mean, how much are you going to spend in a hotel or an Airbnb downtown, right downtown Montreal? I was like right at a subway stop. Uh, it was an underground parking garage. Uh, the clips you're seeing now, I was sweating. I tried to make a video down there while I was, while I was uh, staying there, but it was just too nasty. I was so hot down there. Basically what happens is like cars will start, you're underground, all that exhaust stays down there. They got like a really crappy air exchange system going on, so it wasn't really enough. I was sweating like crazy down there and I had terrible sleeps. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend finding something else. So Montreal as a city is amazing. Uh, you gotta go. It's one of the most vibrant places I've ever been, straight up. There are things like drum circles going on on the Sundays at the base of Mount Royal. And there's so many pedestrian only areas going on in that city, like we're talking miles of it. So the people rule there, not the not the automobile. Uh, you know, it's it's got such a nice feeling there. It's just the most vibrant place. It's a very artistic, creative place. Um, I saw some live musical, I was there. It was just deadly. Like there's just so much going on in that city. It's unbelievable. Um, a lot of people will say, I'm going to put this one out there right off the bat. A lot of people are going to say, don't go there, you, you know, everyone, no one speaks English, oh, what's the big deal? Well, yeah, they don't, it's Quebec, it's a French-speaking place. Don't listen to the haters, Montreal is amazing, everyone will speak English to you. It's a bit harder, a bit more brain power required, because you're going to have to think about signs. Some people, you know, they'll speak to you French first, and then they're going to have to come down to your level to speak English because it's not their language so you might get a bit of tension but it's not like as bad as a lot of people make it out to be so Montreal has my approval parking is tricky though all right Quebec City Quebec City is the most beautiful city in Canada it's hard to describe how beautiful it is it's it was founded in 1608 it's the oldest city in Canada and let me just tell you it is just incredible it feels like there's magic in the air Everything is made out of stone. Once again, loads of pedestrian only areas. It's kind of like you're walking around Europe the whole time. Uh, because, I mean, it comes from 400 years ago. It's an old city. The stone architecture just has such a presence there. And the history has such an energy and it's tangible. It's in the air there. There's a church there that's super old. I think it's one of the oldest, if not the oldest in North America, so they say. Um, there's just so much life there. Quebec people have a lust for life. Joie de vivre, as they say in their language. Uh, and you really feel it in both Montreal and Quebec City. Quebec City is absolutely stunning. I've traveled the entire country. I've never been to a city that's more beautiful. That is like 100% true. So, highly recommend it. Parking, parking in Quebec City. Uh, parking is a little cheaper actually. Uh, I only stayed near the old area of Quebec, which is the best area. Don't bother with the crappy modern stuff. It's just boring and same old, same old. Just go right down to old Quebec City. Now, I just paid $12 a day at a certain parking spot near the Plains of Abraham. Plains of Abraham rather. Uh, it's a massive historical area. Um, it was 12 bucks a day. And then I was like, you know, a short walking distance right into the old part of Quebec City. So, parking much easier. There's actually a Walmart 
uh, I believe right downtown as well in Quebec City. Uh, if you want to go that route, it's way easier. So parking is way easier in Quebec City, hands down. Uh, so it's totally worth it. If I, I can't really pick a favorite. Um, there's a good saying like, uh, I think Stomp and Tom said this, uh, Canada should join the rest of Quebec because Quebec is that awesome. It has such a contagious spirit in the air and you only know it when you're there. And you have to be open to it. Don't be one of these cranky people who's like, oh, well, they don't, they don't speak English, so why don't I, why would I go there? Well, in Quebec City, it's more French than Montreal, but they need tourists there, so everybody speaks English. And I went to a few restaurants, and they're all pretty chill and pretty cool. So, like, go to Quebec City. Uh, if you had to choose between one or the other, just go straight to old Quebec City. Moral of this story is check out Montreal and Quebec City because they are probably my favorite cities in Canada. That and St. John's, of course. Uh, anyways, everybody, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.